In this video, you'll learn how to set up the NI Elvis 2 or NI Elvis 2 Plus platform. You'll also open and run circuit simulations in the NI Multisim Circuits teaching environment and see how this is fully integrated with the NI Elvis platform. Finally, you'll learn how to use the NI Elvis MX tools with real circuits built on the NI Elvis breadboard. Before assembling the hardware, make sure the required software is installed. This includes the most recent version of NI Multisim and the NI Elvis MX driver available at ni.com. As you explore real circuits on the NI Elvis, you'll be using the breadboard. On the breadboard, you can see the various named pin connections which are associated with instruments on the NI Elvis. For example, you can see that the following pins are associated with the function generator. A wire from here to the circuit on the breadboard will connect the function generator for your measurements and experiments. The first step in setting up the hardware is connecting the prototyping board to the NI Elvis 2 platform. To do so, the mounting bracket of the NI Elvis 2 should be aligned inside the opening at the bottom of the board. With the board aligned, you can slide the NI Elvis connector into the NI Elvis 2. Push the board with your thumbs until it's snugly in place. Now, Connect the power cable and the USB cable to the NI Elvis 2. Plug the other end of the USB cable into your computer. With these cables connected, turn on the NI Elvis 2 by flipping the power switch on the rear panel, beside the power port. The USB active LED should flash orange, temporarily turn green, and then shut off. At the same time, the USB ready LED should turn orange. This process may take a few seconds. Next, turn on the prototyping board power by flipping the power switch on the top of the NI Elvis 2. The power LED should turn green. Additionally, the plus 15 volt, minus 15 volt, and 5 volt power supply LEDs in the bottom left corner of the prototyping board should light up. You're now ready to begin working with the NI Elvis 2 platform as well as the rest of the NI Circuits Education solution with NI Multisim. For circuits laboratories, you'll often begin by simulating the behavior of a circuit first. Let's explore how you can work with simulated circuits using the NI Multisim 13.0 environment. To start a new circuit design, select File and then New. In the New Design dialog that appears, you can select which type of design you want to create. For example, if you're working with the NI Elvis 2 platform, select NI Elvis 2 Design and then click Create. After a few seconds, a schematic will appear with a predefined pattern which resembles the connections of the NI Elvis 2 platform with the prototyping board connected. You'll recall from earlier that we had seen the breadboard pin connections to the function generator, which are replicated here in the multi-sim schematic. To open an existing circuit design, select File and then Open. In the Open File dialog box, browse to the location of an existing circuit schematic, select it, and then click Open. Here we see an example of an RC circuit with a switch. You should notice that this switch is an interactive component, meaning that during simulation we are able to both open and close the switch. To connect components together, you can wire from one terminal on the circuit diagram to another. For example, to connect the oscilloscope to measure the voltage of the capacitor, wire the positive terminal here and wire the negative terminal here. Note that a number of the NI Elvis MX tools are available in this NI Elvis 2 circuit schematic. You can open any of them by double clicking them. You're now ready to simulate the behavior of this circuit. To observe the simulated voltage of the capacitor, open the NI Elvis MX oscilloscope. To begin simulation, click the Run button. You'll notice that the Stop button is now enabled and the oscilloscope is displaying data. Currently, the voltage in the capacitor is 0 volts. To start charging the capacitor, change the state of the switch by pressing the spacebar during the interactive simulation session. Notice that the capacitor's voltage ramps up from 0 volts to 5 volts. To stop the simulation, simply click the Stop button. In a laboratory, there's a natural transition from simulation to the real world to be able to understand how theory compares to a physical circuit. There's often a difficulty in working with real components and a breadboard 
so it's helpful to practice the act of working with components on the prototyping board. To do this, you can select Tools and then View Breadboard to open a 3D virtual representation of the NI Elvis breadboard in Multisim. In this view, you can place all of the components to create your circuit. Make sure that you wire the power supply to the positive and ground columns. Then, you can wire the components together. When you create a wire that's connected to one terminal of the component, the simulated view will highlight where the other end should go. The simulation makes this recommendation based on how your circuit is configured on the circuit schematic. Finally, if you switch back to the circuit schematic, components and wires that are connected correctly are shown in green. In this case, the wire branches that are connected to the scope are still red because the scope is a simulated connection only. With the circuit built and verified in the 3D view tool, you can easily build the same circuit on the real NI prototyping board with this virtual blueprint. Measuring data from the real circuit is simple with Multisim and NI Elvis. The same NI Elvis MX tools used during simulation can also acquire data from the real world. To configure one of these tools, simply change the device setting from Simulate NI Elvis 2 to your NI Elvis platform. You're now able to view the real circuit data from within the Multisim simulation environment. Depending on your circuit setup and the tool you're using, you may also need to configure which physical channel to connect to. In the case of the oscilloscope, you could either measure the values on the scope B and C inputs on the left side of the NI Elvis 2 platform, or you could measure one of the analog input channels. In either case, you'll need to make sure you've wired the physical channel input to the part of your circuit that you want to measure. Now, you can run the oscilloscope and measure real data. Yet another unique feature of this integration between simulated and real data is that you can view the multi-sim simulated results of the circuit on the same axis as the real data. This makes correlation and comparison easier and intuitive. The NI Elvis MX tools can be accessed independent of the NI multi-sim software through the NI Elvis MX instrument launcher. Depending on your operating system, you will access this in different ways. From within this window, you can launch the full suite of NI Elvis 2 tools, including the digital multimeter, Bode analyzer, variable power supply, arbitrary waveform generator, oscilloscope, function generator, dynamic signal analyzer, digital reader, digital writer, impedance analyzer, two-wire current voltage analyzer, and three-wire current voltage analyzer. In all, there are 12 NI Elvis MX instruments that connect to NI Elvis to take measurements from a breadboard circuit. When using the instrument launcher, you won't have access to the simulated NI Elvis 2 device. To interact with simulated circuits, you have to work within the NI Multisim environment. To learn more about these instruments, Go to ni.com forward slash ni Elvis. In this video, you learned how to configure the NI Elvis 2 platform and simulate a circuit in NI Multisim. You're also able to validate the wiring of a circuit with the 3D View tool and measure real world values with the NI Elvis MX instruments. You're now ready to begin learning with the NI Elvis platform and NI Multisim.